This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up MetaMask securely. Welcome back to the Altcoin Chief where we talk about crypto and blockchain. If you don't want to miss any gems or crypto tutorials, click the subscribe button now. Today we're focusing on MetaMask. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up MetaMask and how to use MetaMask securely. So to start off, you want to go to metamask.io. Make sure this is the correct URL before proceeding. And once you hit the landing page, you'll be greeted with some download buttons. Presuming you're using Chrome browser, go ahead and click download for Chrome. Once you've hit that button, you'll be greeted with Chrome Web Store. And as you can see, this is created by the owner of the listed website. This is the confirmed extension that we're using. So let's go ahead and add to Chrome. So once you click the button, you'll be asked to add the extension. Let's go ahead and add extension. So now that the MetaMask extension has been added, we are greeted with a landing page that allows us to create a new MetaMask wallet or import an existing wallet. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be creating a brand new wallet. So let's go ahead and click that button. Here is a little overview of MetaMask and their user agreement. So let's go ahead and agree. And right now you're asked to create a password. This password will allow you to log into your MetaMask once you're on your device. So let's go ahead and create a password that we'll remember. And click, I understand that MetaMask cannot recover this password. Once you're happy, create a new wallet. So now we move on to securing your MetaMask wallet. MetaMask has prepared a short video that we're gonna play right now that gives you an overview of this step. MetaMask is a new way to connect to sites and applications. On traditional websites, a central database or bank is responsible for controlling and recovering your accounts. But on MetaMask, all of the power belongs to the holder of a master key. Whoever holds the key controls the accounts. Your secret recovery phrase is your master key. It's a series of 12 words that are generated when you first set up MetaMask, which allow you to recover your wallet and funds if you ever lose access. It's important that you secure your wallet by keeping your secret recovery phrase very safe and very secret. If anyone gets access to it, they will have the master key to your wallet and can freely access and take all of your funds. To secure your MetaMask wallet, you'll want to safely save your secret recovery phrase. You can write it down, hide it somewhere, put it in a safe deposit box, or use a secure password manager. Some users even engrave their phrase onto a metal plate. Nobody, not even the team at MetaMask, can help you recover your wallet if you lose your secret recovery phrase. If you haven't written down your secret recovery phrase and stored it somewhere safe, do it now. We'll wait. And remember, never share your secret recovery phrase with anyone, not even us. If anyone ever asks you for it, they're trying to scam you. That's it. Now you know what a secret recovery phrase is and how to keep your wallet safe and secure. So let's go ahead and click secure my wallet. Right now we're greeted with a 12 word secret recovery phrase that is connected to our account. This is the phrase that you need to save securely and keep it in a safe place because if someone has access to these words, they'll be able to log into your account and access your funds. Again, it is very important that you keep these secret phrases securely. Not even a team at MetaMask can help if your funds get taken. So let's go ahead and reveal our secret recovery phrase. This is a demo account that we're using right now. So your words will obviously be different. Let's go ahead and click next. And right now we are at the step of confirming your secret recovery phrase. 
as you can see, we are asked to provide the third word in our recovery phrase. In our case, this is unhappy, number four, and also number eight. Once you've successfully input your words, let's go ahead and confirm. And right now we have created a crypto self-custody MetaMask wallet. Let's go ahead and click next and done. So now that our MetaMask account is created, we can go onto our extension in Google Chrome. This is located on the top right of your browser. You'll be able to see a little Fox logo. Let's go ahead and click that. And this shows you a ribbon with access to your MetaMask. So on the top, you'll be able to see your MetaMask wallet address. If you want to send some funds onto this wallet, you need to copy that address and paste it in an exchange or whatever app you're using. This is your wallet address. And as you can see, you can do a few interesting things on MetaMask. You can see your assets. You can also use an import function to input tokens that you've been trading. And also you have an activity ribbon. And here is the place where all your transactions will be listed. So let's say you want to import tokens that you've traded. Go to import tokens tab. And for the purposes of this video, we'll be adding uni token, uh, which is the native token of Uniswap to our list. Let's go ahead and click custom token. And now we're being asked to add a token contract address. In the example of Uniswap uh, that we're using today, you can go to CoinGecko, go to Uniswap, find the token that you're after, and here you'll be able to see some info. The first piece of information that we're greeted with is the contract address. You can go ahead and copy that address and paste it in the field that asks us for the contract address. So as you can see, other information has been inputted by MetaMask automatically. And let's add a custom token and click import tokens. So right now we've added a custom token to our MetaMask. As you can see, this is now listed in our asset list. So MetaMask Wallet allows you to send, receive and use applications on the blockchain. Let's say you want to send some funds. As you can see, we have 0.06 ETH. If we want to send that fund to somewhere else, we can go ahead and click send. And in this field, we need to input where we're sending funds to. Make sure you input the right address. Always double check. And then you'll be able to send your funds to that particular address. What you can also do is click the three dots on the top right of your MetaMask. And here you have some options. You have account details. You can have an expanded view of MetaMask. You can also view your account on Etherscan. This will allow you to see the list of transactions as well. But you also have an option to see connected sites. Once you click this, you'll be greeted with a list of sites that you're connected to. Maybe you want to remove one of the sites that you're connected to on MetaMask. So this is the place to go. MetaMask also has a built-in swap function. This allows you to swap between tokens directly from MetaMask. Let's go ahead and click swap and let's perform a simple swap. So we're swapping Ethereum because that's what we have in our wallet. And for the purposes of this video, we'll be swapping to USDC but there are many, many options available. So for the purposes of this video, we'll be swapping 0.02 ETH into USDC. And here is our swap overview. If you're happy with that, you can go ahead and swap your tokens. It shouldn't take more than a minute to complete. MetaMask also allows you to buy crypto 
directly using your credit card or debit card. Let's go ahead and click the buy button. Once you click that button, you'll be greeted with some options. And there are currently three options. You can buy ETH with Coinbase Pay, you can buy ETH with Transact, and also MoonPay. Depending on your jurisdiction, you'll be able to use different options here. For the purposes of this video, let's go ahead and continue with MoonPay. And we've been taken to a website that gives us a simply laid out way of purchasing crypto with our credit or debit card. Input how much money you want to exchange and what crypto you want to get. Click continue. And once you click that, you'll be greeted with a question about your email address, which will then proceed to ask for your credit or debit card info. For the purpose of this video, let's also have a look at the transact way of completing that transaction. Let's continue to transact. And in here, very similar to MoonPay, enter how much money you want to deposit and what you want to get in return and click what method you want to use when it comes to the purchase. You can use SEPA, which is instant transfers. You can use Visa or MasterCard, but also Apple Pay and Google Pay is available. So MetaMask also allows you to connect to different websites to complete transactions. Right now, let's take a look at connecting to Uniswap. What you want to do is go to info.uniswap.org. This is the only correct website that you should be going to. And now you're greeted with a landing page that gives you a little overview of this particular exchange. As you can see, there is a list of top tokens that are being traded on Uniswap. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let's have a look at exchanging between ETH. As you can see, we've clicked on Ethereum and we're greeted with the trade button on the right side of the screen. Let's go ahead and click that. Now we're greeted with a very simple landing page that shows you a swap function of Uniswap. To complete this, let's go ahead and connect our MetaMask wallet to start things off. Let's go ahead and click connect and let's click on MetaMask. A window should pop up asking you to allow this to happen. Let's go ahead and click next and let's connect. So as you can see now our MetaMask wallet address is displayed on the top right of the screen. And right now we're connected to Uniswap. Let's go ahead and click Ethereum as the starting token because that's what we have in our MetaMask. And let's go ahead and click select token. In here, you'll be greeted with a long list of tokens available to swap to. But let's say your token is not on that list. What would you do? Well, let's go to CoinGecko. And on the top right side of CoinGecko, we're able to search for tokens. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using a Uniswap token. So let's go ahead and find it. Here is Uniswap token. As you can see, the contract address is on the right side of our screen right now. Let's go ahead and copy that contract. And let's go back to the window where we swap between the tokens and click select token. Right now, we're able to paste that contract address on the top of that ribbon. Let's go ahead and paste. As you can see, the token that we're after now shows on Uniswap. Let's go ahead and click that. So if you want to exchange, let's go ahead and input how much we want to exchange. And here is the latest exchange rate. Let's go ahead and click swap. Let's also confirm the swap. And now the MetaMask pop-up shows up, giving us the ability to confirm the transaction. If you're happy with the transaction, go ahead and click confirm. But let's say we want to swap to a different token. Let's click the available tokens and swap some Ethereum for USDC. Input how much you want to change and click swap. Confirm the swap. 
As you can see, we are greeted with the MetaMask pop-up again. Let's go ahead and confirm that transaction. As you can see, the transaction has been submitted. This also allows you to add USDC directly to your MetaMask. So let's go ahead and click that button. A MetaMask window appears again, and let's click Add Token. This will allow us to see USDC directly in our MetaMask wallet. So as you can see, the swap has been confirmed. We now have a balance of $64.12. And if we go to our MetaMask, we also have some activity. And let's go to Assets. And here we see that we have some Ethereum and also USDC that we've swapped for. So let's say you've been using MetaMask for a while and you're interested in blockchains different than Ethereum. Out of the box, your MetaMask is set up for Ethereum mainnet. Now I'm going to show you how to use MetaMask with a different blockchain. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add Polygon to your MetaMask. To add Polygon to your MetaMask, you can simply go to polygonscan.com. This is the website you want to use, polygonscan.com. So we've landed on Polygon Scan. This is very similar to Etherscan. It allows you to see your transactions and also your address on the Polygon blockchain. Let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the website. And on the bottom right, you have a button that allows you to add Polygon Network to your MetaMask. Go ahead and click that button. Once you've clicked the button, a pop-up comes up from MetaMask and it gives you some information on what you're connecting to. It gives you the network name, network URL and other details. Let's go ahead and click Approve. And also let's switch network over to Polygon from Ethereum. So we've now added Polygon mainnet to our MetaMask. Now we're able to use apps and transact on the Polygon blockchain using our self-custody MetaMask wallet. And MetaMask works exactly the same as the Ethereum side. So you have your assets, your activity, your swap function, your send function, and also your address that you want to use to receive tokens on the Polygon blockchain. So if you want to go back to Ethereum or to any other blockchain, use the little ribbon on the top of your MetaMask wallet to swap between the networks. Let's go back to Ethereum. So this was how to add Polygon to your MetaMask. So this was the in-depth tutorial on how to set up your MetaMask wallet securely, how to safely store your seed phrases, how to transact, how to swap networks, and how to use your MetaMask wallet as a beginner. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.